Well, hello, dear friends. Uh, so good that we could be back together again today. Uh, it is Friday. Uh, it is time for uh, some commentary on uh, the service uh, for this week. And we are in the first Sunday of Lent. Uh, as we begin our Lenten journey, we began with our Ash Wednesday service as we uh, look towards the cross, as we look towards um, the our, our baptismal promises that uh, we are saved, that uh, Jesus dies for us. Um, and so this year in Lent, um, the Sundays of Lent will lead us uh, to focus on really uh, five uh, covenants um, that... Um, that God makes um, uh, in the scriptures and how those are kind of the lenses to to view baptism. We really focus on baptism in, in Lent in this, this year as we look to Mark's uh, gospel and to our other lessons. And, and so today, today, Sunday, um, as we come into this first Sunday of Lent, we come in uh, to the passages of Scripture that um, really talk to us. We, we hear out of the book of Genesis um, uh, of, of God talking to Noah. And, and, um, and that's uh, so our first reading, Genesis 9, 8 through 17. Um, and then um, our psalm for this week is uh, Psalm 25 verses 1 through 10. And then in our, our second reading from 1 Peter 3, 18 to 22, um, we hear how Christ suffered uh, from sin, um, the, the righteous from the unrighteous, um, and how kind of uh, he put to death in the, was put to death and uh, made alive in the spirit. Um, and then that brings us uh, to our our gospel lesson, which is from Mark 1, 9 through 15. This is uh, where John the baptizer um, baptized uh, uh, Jesus, right? Um, and as Jesus comes up out of the water, the dove ascends, and this voice comes from heaven that says, You are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. And then uh, almost immediately, the Spirit uh, drives Jesus into the wilderness um, where he sits for these 40 days and he's tempted by Satan, right? Um, and so when I looked at, uh, at text for my, my sermon, I got to thinking that this is this annual period of reflection for us, right? Leading to this joy and celebration of Easter Sunday. But it is also uh, in this Sunday that we hear in the, the reading about the baptism of Jesus and how God's affirmation that he is his well-beloved son. And that also reminds us then of our own baptisms, although we may not remember them, we are still able to relive them each time we have a baptism at church um, or we uh, talk through baptism, through our baptismal vows um, as a, a fellowship with one another. And that is in itself some pretty powerful things that... Um, but then as Jesus is baptized, we're mush, pushed in kind of from this baptism to how Jesus uh, went into the wilderness, right, for, for 40 days. And how the Spirit just kind of says, Boop, you need to go, you need to do this. He didn't choose to do it willingly, but he was kind of driven there, right, by the Holy Spirit. And um, he goes and he does it because it's something that he needs to accomplish as part of his ministry uh, here on earth. And in those 40 days and 40 nights, we learn that he's tempted, right, by Satan. 
Um, and it kind of builds the strength for him, I think. this uh, He denies Satan. He pushes through, and through those 40 days and 40 nights, he suffered and he prayed. And that, in turn, is where Lent comes from. Those 40 days and 40 nights of Jesus in that wilderness. And so, as we continue to look, we look at how maybe we have entered a wilderness during Lent, right? This spiritual quest for us uh, of our own and how that experience will will bring us through these 40 days and, and how it centers uh, us and how we can reflect on that. We talked on, on Wednesday about from dust you came into dust you shall return and how we were made from the dust, but now we go back to dust with, with Christ. And, and in that, we are alive, that we have that everlasting life. And so we need to look at how we will spend these 40 days, right? How we need to be open to ourselves, to bring God in, to, to pray and to meditate, or how we examine ourselves through this process. So I invite you to Come and be a part of worship on Sunday, whether in person, 9 o'clock at Ottawa, 11 o'clock at Sundall, or if you join us online. Uh, we think of how, as we came on Wednesday, to have those ashes as a sign on our forehead. We open our hearts. We open our lives. We come to Christ in this time for grace for redemption, for love. So I invite you uh, to be a part of that. I hope that you have a very blessed weekend, uh, that you uh, enjoy some of this turn of cold to warm, um, and uh, most importantly, uh, that you find time to uh, sit and listen to God as we are in this Lenten journey, this time of prayer reflection, and meditation. I hope you have a blessed day. We'll see you on Sunday. Bye for now.